Hey guys, so um, in this video, this is something I've really been interested in doing myself actually, it's just doing an AB between uh, the, the Marshall Blues Breaker pedal and the Marshall, Marshall Governor pedal. And I know there's probably loads of videos about this, but I just wanted to do it myself with a really cool Les Paul, which this is a um, very much a boutique sort of um, um, replica made in England um, by Daniel's Guitars. It's really, it says Daniel's Guitars on the, on the headstock. And we've got Alan Dingwell pickups here. And we've got the famous out of face sound. And we've got a nice neck pickup sound. So well done to Alan Dingwell and Darren for, make, for making these, these things. And uh, let's just have, have a look here. This is a blues breaker. This is actually the rear shoe. And this is the rear shoe Marshall Governor pedal. Okay. So just to, again, my clean sound. <laughs> guys in conclusion what I'm hearing um, and I don't know if you're hearing this um, through the phone here but 
what I'm hearing is a blues breaker. It's, it's, it's quite a crunchy sort of pedal, um, but it lacks a bit of sustain, so you have to fight a bit harder with the blues breaker. So it's kind of, I guess, a kind of martially tube screamer, if you want. Whereas the Marshall Governor pedal can give you uh, more sustain, more bloom. And uh, so if, I think if you're playing more high gain stuff like Gary Moore, especially as he did on the first two blues albums he did in the early 90s, still got the blues and, and um, back to the blues or whatever they were called. Um, then you want to go for the governor pedal. Um, I think more for like chuggy rhythms and maybe riffs, you know, maybe the blues breaker would be the pedal to go for. But that's just, just for my own kind of curiosity. Um, it's really cool to play the blues breaker pedal and the musher governor pedal. Okay, that's it guys. See you soon.